So he still has a year as a baby. She's a Martin Hiloni. Hi! Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. Today's Tucker's birthday. Before we go home and give him like an amazing meal, I need to count my zines. I just got 150, the last 150 from Pinch, because they only did, excuse me, my chicken Um. So I had 100 for the zine fair and the last 150 printed. I need to basically number the last 150, count the total, just to double check and put them in my store. And so that's what I'm doing. And Toggy's gonna have his amazing meal. He's gonna have a raw lamb cutlet bone. I'm gonna cut the most of the meat off besides some that he can like strip off himself so he can clean his teeth. I'm gonna cook the lamb cutlet. And then also I've got some like uh, chicken giblets that he's gonna have. He's gonna have a great day today. I'm so excited. But in the meantime, this is what we're doing. Okay, when I did the zine fair, I dumped um, out a bunch of boxes into this box because I didn't want to sort it then and there. So I think I'm going to sort it now, otherwise I will never ever sort it out. So I'm going to test the pencils. If I want to keep them, I'll keep them. If I don't want to keep them, I'll give them to like Vinnie's or something. Clean the studio because I feel so out of sorts and then I'm going to try and get some creative work done. Surprise! I'm not getting rid of anything except for these. I'm really bad at de hoarding. So, accept me as I am. Yesterday, I did basically nothing. <laughs> I've been feeling really unmotivated with like making work and stuff like that. And I think it's like being overwhelmed with wanting to document it because you know, it's such an important part of maintaining your social these days is being able to document it well. But then I get overwhelmed because I'm like, I don't have the energy to go move the tripod and do this and this just to like just start a painting. Because starting the painting is the hardest part for me. Once I get in the flow state, that's fine. But before that, it's like, oh, gotta do all these things, gotta set up. It doesn't sound like much, but emotionally, I feel like it is a lot. And so like, I didn't really do much yesterday. I felt a bit overwhelmed. Then I had a meeting with a client, which is the client that I can't tell you about yet, but you will hear about it end of next month. Um, which is a while away too, but you know how like you're, there's a, like a waiting room for like when you have Zoom calls and stuff. It was like that. You know, I was in there for like five minutes and I just came up with all these ideas. So I'm, I'm now thinking like, maybe I need downtime. Like maybe I need time where I'm not listening to musical podcasts or watching a show or whatever because I think that's when ideas come, but it's like, oh, it can be so boring though. I think I'm like too used to stimul being stimulated with like visual or audible content. But anyway, 
besides the point. So I basically have some ideas for new things. Oh, and I was gonna get rid of this jumpsuit. This is not, this isn't my big bud press jumpsuit because Rocket got it at like a vintage thing in Adelaide, but it's the one that makes me feel like I have a Grinch body, which is fine, but it's not the most flattering for my body type. So I'm gonna keep it at the studio and use it for when my outfits are not like painting appropriate, but so I can just chuck it on. I am painting today, I'm really excited. I'm gonna set it up. Let me show you my sketches from yesterday. I need to block out the meeting notes. I'm not allowed to show you. Does this make sense? <laughs> show, show someone something completely like nondescript. Does this make sense? <laughs> It'll make sense. I can't explain it. I'll explain it later. But I just want to get set up because I'm feeling pumped. Also in that meeting, like I came up with some ideas of things I want to do to promote this project. Because whenever we do like a commercial illustration project, we try and like also book in what we can do on social to amplify that project. If that makes sense. Like if I'm going to share it anyway, I want to share it in a way that's interesting. And to share it in a way that's really interesting, especially for this one, I'm so excited. I can't tell you. It has something to do with jump up, but I can't tell you. That's what I'll say. Basically, we need budget for that. So we had to, like, I wanted to tell the client my ideas and yeah. I'm hyperactive. I'm even having an asthma attack because I'm so hyperactive. Like, I'm not breathing properly. Where is my... Okay. Sorry if it's a bit... <laughs> Sorry if it's a bit chaotic. I just feel really pumped. So I'm going to start with some tests, small scale tests, and then we're going to try and do something bigger. I'm rambling. I'll probably not even include this. I can say whatever I want right now. Start writing our own history Let's take this road Oh, this winding, winding road Let's just take the long way home But sunshine, sunshine and happiness are all that's around us now. Here is my first test for my new thing. I don't know if it'll be a body of work, I don't know if it'll be one painting, but this is just like an ink test. There's a little bit of gouache on like the snowy mountain top. I'm imagining that a lot of this, I think I'll have a base of ink like I usually do and then cover everything with acrylic gouache. So this is a test. Obviously it's not as precise as I want, but if it's bigger to be easier. So I think I'm going to do a larger test to kind of see that. And I'm going to do maybe just four. Like maybe like this or like this one or these because they're a bit more crazy different just so I can see like how it will look with ink and gouache. So this is focusing on the flow of color. The next test will be focused on the like actual materials that I want to use and like the layering. I Just keep going around, going around You've got me running in circles I can't keep both feet on the ground Let's just keep spinning, spinning, spinning Just keep going around, going around 
Hello everybody, I hope you like this video. Um, I just want to come and say hello. <laughs> I know it was a short one this time, but it was just like a chill start of the month. I didn't have any pressing deadlines or anything like that. And so I just wanted to, the vlog to reflect that. We did a lot of tests. Some of the tests, well, one of the tests I didn't love, actually two, that tiger drawing with the crayons, I hated that. Like I, I was considering not even putting it in, but I just feel like I'll put my failures in or like what my perceived failures are, the tests I don't love so that you can see like how you get to the good stuff. But also that second test I did for the mountain painting, which I want to do, um, it wasn't like I would consider it a fail, but then I was thinking like there's no such thing as a failed test because it just shows you what not to do for the final thing. So it is a good test. I just don't like the outcome of the, the test. I'll probably do the final piece in the next video that you see. I just wanted this one to be like a little reflection of the start of the month because really that's what it is. Part of me is like, where did all the time go at the start of the month? But also then I realized that we were sick or well, Rocket was sick and then I got a bit sick, but then I just kind of stayed home. I'll preemptively rest in case I get sick. But then we just watch movies. <laughs> So yeah, maybe I shouldn't do that. Really excited to start this painting, like really, really excited. Like I feel a bit invigorated. So next video, you'll see the final artwork, which I was testing for in this video. Also look at these crayons I bought. This is like so chaotic. Look how big these are. But then these are the Crayolas. Crazy. I'll probably do some drawing with them. I like cheap like kids materials because it makes me feel like I can be more playful because I'm not like wasting money or whatever. I want to say a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I actually did update my Squarespace site this month, I added some stuff to my portfolio because we received an email from like a an agency that we've recently worked with. And they were like, oh, we're putting you forward for this job for X client. And they're looking at your portfolio. I was like, look at my portfolio. I haven't thought about my portfolio for a while. So I went on, and I thought that I needed to update it. So I added a few more like new projects onto there just so that it reflected my current work and also the work that I want to get. Like I put personal projects on there that are this in the style that I want to continue to create. It was super easy. I've used Squarespace for a long time, but even when I first used Squarespace, I found it just as easy. Like I think it's the thing that made me fall in love with the platform. I hid some old projects. I don't like to delete them because just in case, uh, I ever want to include it again, or if I hear a client is looking at my portfolio and I think that is a good piece to kind of sell the client on my work, I can just, unhide it like I can show it if you have not tried it which you I'm sure you have but if, if a few of you have not tried it and you're considering uh, a website building platform Squarespace is the best if you want to try it for free go to squarespace.com slash for a little peach you get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase thank you Squarespace I hope you liked seeing this little chill start to my month and I hope you have a really really great w life <laughs> I was like day no week no life <laughs> I hope you have a great eternity. And me, I'll just be here, living my little life, filming my silly little vlogs. Oh, you know what I'm going to do in the next video? I'm going to Madeline's studio next week. So maybe I'll bring you to Madeline's studio again because that was fun. And she liked seeing her life in a studio vlog as well. So maybe I'll film a little studio vlog and, and that will be really fun. But yes, anyway, I'll see you soon. Like super soon. Like within the next week, I'll see you. And I hope you have a good life. Bye. Da, 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 da. Do you have the OP1 here? I think so. <gasps> Where is it, baby? Baby, how do I turn it on? This is Rocket's OP1. Remember I bought it for him once for his birthday and it was the best surprise ever. I can never surprise Rocket. This was an ultimate surprise. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm seeing things that are going to make me cry. Mm. 
Bye.